they mounted their horses, which had shiny hooves, and rode away. The forest was welcoming to them. There was a certain inexpressible beauty in untamed nature. There was an orderliness that was not linear. Those with intuitive intelligence felt at home. Those who depended on just their outer senses were alert and experienced a tinge of fear. The girls did not follow the typical rules. They raced into the forest as if it were their grandparents' backyard. The head of the guards tried warning Sita, but she just laughed at him sweetly and rode on. Their hair flying behind them, the girls looked like forest deities in their own kingdom. I had a question about the excerpt. Uh, you know, when we think about um, strength, right, there is an idea that it has to be powerful or muscular, and there is such an image sort of attached to it. But, you know, when we look at Sita, we see her as a very soft, you know, subtle, sensitive. And so I would like for you to throw some light on the strength of subtleness when it comes to Sita. And, you know, she has such wonderful qualities. And, you know, if you can just describe maybe a few qualities that we should all imbibe in our daily lives, that would be wonderful. So, of course, sensitivity, sensibility, strength, all can go together. Hmm? Sensitivity, it's not just weakness, no? As you rightly said, uh, it's not the muscular power that is subtle strength. She had more, uh, more than that, that is the power of the, uh, her confidence was there, and power of the self, uh, power of her mind. I want to tell you the story. Hmm? The story is easy to <laughs> understand, isn't it? I like uh, stories. <laughs> so, um, we all know Rameshwara, we have the, uh, you know, that Stala Purana, it is there in that. So after uh, the war was over and then we, they came victorious, they came to Rameshwaram and Rama and Sita. Rama wanted, Rama's Ishta Devata was uh, Shiva, you all know. So he wanted to uh, do Shiva Puja there. So he uh, told um, Sita that uh, what to do now. Then Hanuman was there standing and he said, don't worry, I'll go to Shiva, I'll pray to him, I'll get the Atma Linga from him. So he went and it took some time, he was praying, penance was there, no, it took a little longer time. So in the meanwhile, um, Rama told Sita, why don't you make a shivaling? So she made a shivaling out of uh, sand. Hmm? She created and then they started, uh, they prayed and all. Then. Hanuman came with Atma Ling and then he felt a little pinch suddenly. Oh, I went all the way and brought it. So, um, always the divine lets the devotee do things in their own way. <laughs> so, Rama told uh, Hanuman that um, you can move this uh, Shiv Ling and then place the other one. No, It's okay, you can move Sita's Shiv Ling. So, immediately um, Hanuman... Uh, went to move and he couldn't, Hanuman, hmm, the, <laughs> the strongest of the strongest, he couldn't move the shivling even an inch. Huh? So then immediately he understood that it was Sita Mata who had made the shivling, you know, and uh, immediately he, he realized, you know, that even for little, a few seconds, he slipped out of awareness. And then uh, Rama said, it's okay. Now also that main uh, linga is a Sita uh, Maya's linga uh, that um, we worship there, no? So then, um, so that is the strength of Sita. You, you can understand subtle strength in that, you know? When a drop connects itself to the ocean, it feeds the strength of the ocean. Hmm? So like that, when we connect directly to the source, that is what uh, even in Shiva Dhanush case, you know, I have written about it, read it. <laughs> but you know, they had, when nobody could lift the Shiva Dhanush, Rama, in the hands of Rama and Sita, it was like flower. How, how was this possible? Because that the right connection to the right, you know, when you know the switch, this is the switch for this bulb, you know, <laughs> it can ignite, right? So she had that connection to Shiva directly, so also Rama. That is the subtle strength we speak about. So to 
get this subtle strength, we should realize our own self, how strong we are. So that can happen through grace, meditation, spiritual practice. No? So we have seen time and again no, that how intuitive power develops in us. When we are calm, we are collected. We realize our strength. 